<laughs> oh man, welcome back to another episode. Today it is Justin and I out here. He's got two pike, which puts us at, which puts us at excuse me, 308 fish left out of the 500 fish goal. And I'm actually trying to do something different today. I'm fishing with a Strike King Bitsy Bug in the quarter ounce size. Once I finish this cast, I'm gonna reel it in and talk about it and tell you what I got going on with it, but I'm gonna try and fish with it and catch a good bass with it. Um, now, when you get these Bitsy Bug jigs, they're $2 in some odd sense at the store. I get mine at like Dick's Sporting Goods or Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's, wherever, but this right here, it says a quarter ounce on the package, but if you weigh this jig, it's actually, it's about a 5 16 If you get the 3 16 Bitsy Bug, it's a little bit heavier. And I have seen like people in a couple reviews, like not like that, but I actually, I like that. I prefer that. I use a bait caster. This is a 7.2 Shimano SLX MGL. I do have 20 pound test. It is a medium heavy power, fast action, Corrado rod. Uh, that's the rod I use for all my bottom baits, jigs, Texas rigs, tubes, you name it. And this Bitsy Bug does cast really good. Actually, really good for this for this medium heavy. Uh, obviously, it's all in how you got the reel set, but throwing that jig out there, I'm gonna have to reel it back and talk about it, but I have a net bait pack a chunk as a trailer. Like I said, it's a black jig, and I do have a black and blue pack a chunk as the trailer. Probably just said that whole thing two or three times, but it's all good. Here, reel this back in before I do what I'm doing, but just wasted the cast, but we'll be over here for a little bit. There it is, tossing that out there. And then what I did is I actually, just because I was, we were coming out today, is I took, I took the, all the jigs out of my jig box and I just filled it with Bitsy Bugs because I'm trying to catch a fish on it. Where is it, right here? There you go, you see you'll have another black one, black and blue Okeechobee Craw. My all-time favorite color is green pumpkin. That one had a Kraken Craw. This again has a net bait package chunk. You got one that kind of looks like a sprayed grass color and then a Craw with an Amber Rage Craw on there. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get to fishing with this thing. And Should be a fish there. That's what I'm saying. There should be a fish here. I just came off the Texas rig and tied up a jig because of where we're fishing. Did you say clear? Oh, yeah. Not as clear as it was before the rain. Oh. He took it on the swim. That's a big bass. You just said you haven't got a f Dude, you j he took it on the swim. Let me see that. Look at this. Let me get the scale. On the jig, dude. I reeled it up because I didn't like the cast and look at this, that's a, that's a four, I don't know, that's a four pounder all day, four and a half. Dude, that's a pig. Clear the scale. I'm gonna say, I don't know. Three, four, two. Four, one. You got four pounds, zero ounces. Yep, four pounds, zero ounces on the black jig with the net bait pack a chunk. Wow. Dude, what a fish.
You know what else I like about these jigs? These Story King Bitsy Bug jigs? They're like, I think what, like $2.60? If you lose one or you get bit off by a pike, it's not going to hurt as bad as an expensive lure or an expensive jig would. I mean, I understand anytime you lose lures, lose a bait, whatever, it sucks. But, like I went the other day and for, what, $40? I think I got what? I think it was 10 or 12 jigs, 10 or 12 of these. They're cheap, they work, they catch fish. You can swim them, fish them on the bottom while well, dead stick them on the bottom, hop them, slowly drag them. They're very versatile. This is a jig that I like to, actually, especially now because of this year, I throw this jig all year now. And I also feel like if you're learning how to use a jig, this jig is a bait that can help you. Actually, you want to know the truth about this jig. This is for the price, for it being less than $3, like I said, like I think it's like $260, $270. This is one of the best jigs I've ever used. Like I've used more expensive finesse jigs that I believe don't catch as many fish as the Strike King Bitsy Bug. And it's one of those things that the, the bait is so simple that, that, is, that that's the key to, to why it works so good is because it's so simple, it's nothing crazy. It's a jig, a weed garden, and a skirt. It's, it's the size. Uh, Strike King always makes an amazing product. It's one of those things, you just get bit. Switched it up to a, to a green pumpkin. It's still a bitsy bug though. And it's a, what did that just get tangled? It did with the crack and cross the trailer. Uh, and that's another thing too about that about that net bait pack a chunk on that black jig that that I meant to mention that I meant to mention excuse me is when you have a bait that has the flanges like the rage craw or the cracking craw that's that's a great action okay that's an amazing rate of fall when it's hot around weeds in certain areas but there's also times of the year when you take a trailer or like a pack a chunk that has no flanges and it just falls and does its thing. Well, there's times out here that's a more natural approach than a trailer like this. Now, I'm not saying that's the reason why I caught the four pounder, but at times it has something to do with it. And I know most of the people that watch my videos know what I'm talking about, but here, we'll take two out of the box and I'll show you just as an example, we'll kind of hold them up. So here, again, like I said, started with the black and the black and blue jig now we're on green pumpkin see how you got that pack a chunk hold that where you can see it pack a chunk is on the left crack and craw or rage craw a bait that has the flanges it's here on the right this is a crack and craw i said or rage craw because i use both but like i said there's times where this right here this more natural approach the cheaper bait the three inch pack a chunk versus a Kraken Craw, which is this right here, or a Rage Craw, the cheaper bait will work better. The cheaper bait will get you more bites. Not all the time, sometimes. And we've been fishing basically deep water exclusively today. We haven't really, we haven't fished shallow at all, but pretty cool. I got a video with the uh, bass and the bitsy bug. And the fish count, by the way, if you're interested in the fish count, he's got two pike plus that bass. We started at 310, you got 307 left out of the 500 fish goal. If you're new to the channel and you're watching this in the spring, he's like, hey, let's catch 500, kind of as a joke. And then people are like, do it, see if you can do it. And the only fish that count are the ones that him and I catch together in the boat. All the ones that I catch on the shore don't count. All the ones that he catches in the boat without me don't count. Bass and pike count, misses do not count. And no, we don't catch bluegill either. It's been largemouth, smallmouth, uh, pike, a walleye here and there. <laughs> yes, they do, but. But anyway, I'm gonna get back to fishing this area.